very weird. weird. Uh, God, that's fight so it out. Strange, right? Who wants to go? Let's do it together. Yeah. Let's Should we do, do it together? together? Let's I'm yeah. game. I'm game if you guys are that's game. Tell me a little bit about your show. Introduce yourself again. I'll take it here from okay. here, Bob. Uh, it's a shit. No, go. <laughs> <laughs> it's a show about human trafficking. That's and, right. That's and right. He it's buys, a game show. It's a game show where you try and get the youngest black market baby ever. Have you guys considered doing a show together? Because I think it might work, actually. Considered. We have. They haven't. And we have. We have. We've, we've been in talks. I yeah. Uh, my name is Bob Cushell from Anytime with Bob Cushell. It's on Crackle.com, and it's an entire late-night talk show with a live band, uh, celebrity interviews, comedy monologue, and desk bits all in five minutes. Well, hot damn. Yeah. Do you find that celebrities and musicians are running to do more web, web show stuff? We have had the most incredible celebrities. We've had uh, John Stamos, John Cryer, Neil Patrick Harris, Jennifer Esposito, Christina Applegate, uh, Rob Corddry, Jeff Garland, Bob Saget. The list goes on and on and on. So we name drop it. Name drop it. But that's the show. You know, yeah. it's 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 uh, it's all the fun of David Letterman, especially like early David Letterman on the web. Yeah. It really, and you're doing all this in five minutes, which is the whole show is in five minutes, and it really is enough uh, talk show you need for the day. And and you can watch it while you're on the toilet. So that, do, you, do you think Americans have a short attention span, which is why five minutes actually works for most of I, us? I actually believe that they can take more of me. I'm thinking that an hour and a half of me is what they are asking for, but incrementally. So we're going, we're you know, we're slowly building it up yeah. to an hour and a half. Well, I could take an hour and a half of you. I could take an hour and a half. Unfortunately, of you. I can't do it tonight. No, but I, no. But our show is called Back on Tops. So we did uh, it's one at FoxSports.com and slash Back on Tops, and it's also at uh, BackOnTops.com. And it's I don't know why I keep leaning in. So we tried to create a web show that has the intersection of sports and really sort of edgy, fun comedy that we love. That appeals to us. And so I'm sure you've heard this before, but you look very, very similar to one another. Have you had that response before? No, this before? is actually is the new? first time no. we met auditioning for Back on Tops, the web oh. show. You know how, like, in commercial auditions, everybody kind of yeah, looks the right? same? Yeah. This is, unfortunately, this is my cross to bear. Well, I'm glad that I could point that out for you Thank guys. Thank you for Maybe, maybe you guys could market that, trying to get more work somehow. Maybe. An maybe. idea? Uh, I don't want to rely on it. I don't want it to be a crutch. No. I kind of want it to be a crutch. <laughs> okay. So. I don't Hi, we're still here. We're here we're down here. Hey there, here I am at the Streamy Awards, still on the red carpet. Been here a while, but such a great time. Enjoy. You look sharp, by the way. Thank you, you like that? That's I'm how we do it in LA. Anybody, baby, I'll hand them out. It's all good. There is no shame in this game, trust me. Okay, I am here with the Haley Project. Yes. Nominees tonight for a few nominations. Yeah. Tell me what they are. Um, I, Rachel Risen, am nominated for Best Actor in a Dramatic Series. Congratulations. Thank you so much. And we are all nominated for an Audience Choice Award. Audience Choice, and yeah. I'm nominated for Best Ass. Best yeah. Ass. I'm yeah. kidding. Literally. I, I, will, we, will there be a demonstration of that nomination? <laughs> yes. Break it out. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Yeah. Look. Go ahead, Rachel. Look at that sexy, grab sexy it. ass. Yes. <laughs> yes. How did Obama Girl come about? Well, it came about um, last May of 2007 when Ben Rallis approached me with this great idea. And uh, we did this video, and it has about 15 million hits. And it's something I never expected would turn out the way it did. Do you think that your um, participation helped uh, Barack get, a, get elected? No, I think he had an amazing, amazing campaign on his own. I just felt uh, like it was just great for me just to be a part of that election. We started a show called Starving, which is a silly comedy. I play myself, a really exaggerated stupid, addicted, horrific version of myself, yeah. unemployed and starving, and it's, it's actually uh, pretty silly. It's pretty and you're awesome. a producer on the show, right? I, I produce, write, and, and direct along with all my partners. Okay. Tell me a little bit the fans maybe can expect next season. Oh, man, just more of our insane lives, like more us debauchery. exposing ourselves, debauchery, drugs, alcohol, racism, all the things that, you know, family entertainment. Yeah. I'm here with Rachel Leah Cohen, the star of her own new web series called My Life is a Diet, and Miss Thing here. Citizen Kate Soglin or Julia Sabota from yes. Citizen Kate TV. Tell me about My Life as a Diet. Uh, My Life as a Diet is the story of a woman who's been on a thousand different diets and all of the trials and tribulations with dating and, and being with her friends and everything with being on diets and the different diets that she goes through. And I have to tell you, I am in a size six this evening because of the fact that I just lost the 70 pounds because I was on all the diets. Well, a lot of these shows I'm finding they're having like one actress will go to this 
stop. Oh, I'm sorry. It's hard not. I just not touched her breast. Sorry. Barack would not approve of that, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, no, he. Uh, yeah, maybe not. <laughs> I'm finding that a lot of these shows, like you'll have one actor that'll skip over and do another guest spot, that kind of stuff. Any anything happening like that? You think maybe you'll have her on My Life as a Diet, or oh. or vice versa? I would yes. love that. Yes. Yes. I'm gonna I go on a diet just for it. You are just a teensy weensy small fan of a Barack Obama here. Um, I've been stalking him for a couple of years, <laughs> basically. Yeah, and actually I helped him get into office because we had a butterhead made of him in Iowa that David Axelrod said was his key to success. So you're welcome. Well, Obama girl was here earlier, and I, I got know, an interview I'm with her. With her. I, oh, I just yeah. talked to her. Yeah. I didn't know if you guys had like a bit of rivalry happening no, where like they no. We hugged. They oh, hugged. Okay. I'm all about peace and hugs, so I'm okay. not gonna have any kind of rivalry. Just like our new administration, I think. Uh, pretty much, yeah. I think if we hug it out, uh, we'll be in a much happier place. Yeah. <laughs> Damien, we're here at the Streamy Awards uh -huh. 2009, first annual. Yep. Will I see you here next year as a nominee, you think? Of course, or a presenter, or a winner, or something along those lines. Well, do you find this is kind of like what independent cinema was doing in the 80s and 90s, where totally. actors are running to do web content now? It's, it's really all about empowering yourself. If you have an idea, and you're creative, and you're able to, you know, have some kind of commitment and drive, and see that all the way through, then you can be successful on the web, and you don't need a network behind you. Mm -hmm. And it's proof tonight.